I'm Ashton Addison from BlockQuest Capital for Investment Pitch Media and the Crypto Coin Show. And today on Blockchain Interviews, we have Sharif Abishadi, Education at Near Protocol. Sharif, welcome to the show and thank you for taking the time to come on. Nice. Thanks for having me, Ashton. I appreciate it. You're very welcome. We did speak with Ilya, uh, one of the founders of Near Protocol in the beginning of this year. And Near Protocol is just so fascinating to me. I think it's one of the huge up and coming, uh, already up, uh, you know, layer one protocols that has a lot going on. And I know that there's a lot to be done in the education aspect of it as well. I would love for you to kick it off by just talking a little bit about uh, the Near Protocol and the Near Education, and then we can dive into the details. Sure. Uh I'll give it a shot. I mean, um, as most of your audience knows, uh, Bitcoin uh, invented the clock that ticks in blocks and captures data along the way in a cryptographically unassailable history. Ethereum put a computer on top of that clock and said, we'll outputs and all the code. And then all of the layer ones that have emerged in the last couple of years are just making that faster and cheaper and more scalable. So um, through parallelization, you know, some um, uh, polka dot uh, runs parachains, Solana timestamps and does work in parallel. Uh, Avalanche has specialized chains. So we're all just working on the same challenging problem, which is maintaining a kind of forever history uh, that's economically incentivized truth. And uh, at NIR, I think uh, what I say without any hesitation is this is, at, you know, 25 years in the industry, this is one of uh, the, the strongest, if not the strongest team I've ever uh, had the pleasure of working with, technically speaking, uh, Nier's uh, core talent is just, um, it's, it's really hard to believe sometimes the conversations uh, that you overhear and how fast things just kind of pick up. I mean, it's all open source, you can take a look, but um, that, that's remarkable. And so as an educator in this space, I've been with Nier for a couple of years now, I do my best just to keep up. And to hold this high bar of you know, technical accuracy and at the same time making things accessible to folks who are just coming out of coding boot camps with a couple of months of experience or uh, veterans of the industry with 10, 15 years transitioning from you know, Web 2 and, uh, and, and you know, what, what we most of us think is the, is the, the World Wide Web today, uh, people transitioning into this new Web 3 space. And so, uh, so in that sense, I think uh, there's really a lot to learn and um, there's a lot that we can carry over from what we already know. Uh, in fact, you can sort of think of uh, uh, all of the innovation of the last 20, 25 years coming because of the guaranteed movement of data around the planet. Uh, I wonder what we'll see in the next 20 years, uh, given the guaranteed movement of truth uh, at the same speed. Uh, that, that's really a big deal. So that's what's exciting for me. And, and I'm sure it's exciting for a lot of people out there where uh, teaching people as fast as we can. Definitely, Sharif. Yeah, it's very exciting. And I, I would love to see you know, what near protocol is going to look like in 20 years from now. And just the cryptocurrency space in general, I can imagine it could be slightly different from, from what it is now. And um, I'm glad that you touched there on you know, all the up and coming layer ones. There's like so much going on so quickly. And you're right about you know, just making uh, these platforms that uh, you know, the, the Turing complete platforms like smarter, faster and cheaper, you know, especially cheaper for access to people around the world that, you know, are even unbanked and they don't have any access to capital to be able to do transactions at, at almost no cost. And I know that uh, the near that's one of near specialties as well. I would love for you to dive just a little bit deeper uh, into near and, you know, in, in your vision, you've already, already obviously been working there for a while now. And there's so much in the pipeline for near protocol. Can you talk about, you know, with all these layer ones upcoming uh, in the next year or two, as some of them rise to the top, do you see Near Protocol as one of those that is just totally leading blockchain innovation? Look, I mean, uh, that's a really big idea. This isn't, I think, um, a, a kind of uh, um, something you can plan. Um, you know, what we've seen in uh, T's in the last, you know, eight, 10 months, what we've seen in the DeFi space in the last 24 months. Th these are things you could hardly imagine. Uh, if, if someone had come to you and, and just really tried to shake you and convince you a year or two ago that we would be where we are today, uh, I, I, don't, I don't think that uh, they would be able to, to convince you. Uh, so it's, it's really incredible. Looking forward is even harder because things are getting faster. We can all feel it. Uh, 
anybody up speed, getting more complicated, getting a little bit faster, getting a little bit harder to keep up with uh, year in and year out. From our perspective, um, it, it really is about um, partnerships um, and outreach. Mm-hmm. It's about education. Uh, it's about meeting consumers where they are today uh, instead of trying to convince them that they need to switch to some new way of thinking about the world. Meet them with the highest quality user experience, with um, onboarding that's seamless, with uh, you know user interfaces that look familiar and feel familiar. It's also about developers and meeting them uh, at a place mm-hmm. where it's easy to think about building an application on blockchain. Yeah, it's just a, a slow, expensive database. That That's actually good enough for your first year. Um, the, the price of slow and expensive, the, the trade-off there is that you, you basically get a database that doesn't lie. Um, and mm-hmm. so that, that's what's exciting. So so in, in that sense, really, um, many of us, like, I think, kind of see the same landscape. Um, and uh, uh, you know, we're hoping to attract developers to some of our programs in education. Uh, We are inviting, uh, you know, developers and researchers and designers to come and join us for our fellows program. You can check out near.university for that. Um, In fact, just this week, we launched a uh, program to attract teachers, Um, a thousand teachers. I would love to see a thousand teachers talking about this. And I don't just mean um, software development teachers. Of course, uh, mm-hmm. you know, if you have a technical background, that's great. But I- I'm actually thinking of the history teachers, the philosophy teachers, the economics teachers, the home economics and social studies teachers that are going to kind of inspire the imagination of youth to spend some time trying to think about the world uh, and where it's going to be in the next 10 or 20 years. Um, mm-hmm. I don't know if I'd have shown you this thing uh, 25 years ago and told you <laughs> what I do with it. Uh, today, you would hardly believe it. So where are we going now that we have this new tech? It really is that kind of time. And we need more than just software development engineers and speculation to get there. I think we need some some really big ideas and some fresh ideas. And so that's what we're hoping to attract. That's who we're hoping to attract with this Thousand Teachers program. Very cool, Sharif. And yeah, I agree. It's funny you say that, you know, about the cell phone, people can't even believe it. And I think you know, if I walked into a classroom and, and my teacher was talking about near protocol, my head would be turning. Uh, but I think, you know, a couple of years down the road, it might be completely normal to be talking about, you know, all of these protocols that are the future of the internet. Um, so Before that's, it, yeah. yeah, it's super interesting. And when you were talking about, you know, all those building blocks for the protocol and what's needed, what I was thinking of in the back of my mind until you said it was the developers. You know, it's hard to have lots of applications that people around the world are using if there's no developers and, and development to actually build those applications. And I would love for you to talk a little bit more about how easy is it on Near Protocol to develop applications and you know, can developers easily move from outside of blockchain or from other blockchains to develop on Near? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, w- without uh, comparing any of the development ex- uh, you know, it's really up to developers to come and check it out and see what it feels like. We hear often uh, from developers that come uh, that things are very easy, surprisingly easy on Near. Um, from a technical perspective, the abstractions are clean, the tooling is easy to use and maturing quickly. Um, the APIs are well documented and examples are, you know, full and complete and so on. Uh, so it, it feels welcoming. It feels like a place that, that uh, sort of uh, that you belong quickly. And, uh, and so that's exciting to hear. Um, uh, in terms of, you know, give me some data, you might say, uh, we have a, a program in place right now, a near certified developer, where people are coming in and, and uh, learning how to spell near on a Thursday, building a demo uh, before dinner, and then uh, starting fellowship, uh, full part time, you know, paid work in the community on Monday. Uh, wow. So I don't know, that's like two business days turnaround from what is this thing to, you know, uh, thank you so much. I'd like to contribute today. Yeah, it's incredible. Developers, it's, you know, uh, junior devs uh, with, again, just few months experience out of boot camp. Uh, mm-hmm. They come in, they sort of get an idea of what this thing is, and they can start building. Uh, it's like a serverless function. It's like an API call. It's, mm-hmm. uh, uh, you know, familiar mental models that they're using uh, to build these things. So in that sense, it's really uh, remarkable. Definitely, yeah, to, get, to be able to do that in two days is very remarkable. And you mentioned there as well, something about getting paid and 
you know, I know a lot of these blockchain startups, at least the founders, are working on things with, with sweat equity or just working on cool projects. But is there other incentives and can developers get paid if they start working and building on Near? Uh, yeah, I mean, there, there's no question. So aside from the, uh, you know, existing uh, uh, you know, funding opportunities like uh, the Open Web Consortium, like, uh, you know, some of the grants that we've issued, uh, we just recently announced 800 million in grants, uh, 350 allocated for DeFi projects through Proximity Labs and 450 uh, for ecosystem funds. The education team alone in the last 90 days has uh, distributed about a million dollars worth of near tokens and uh, we plan to increase that in the next 90 days so um, if you look at sort of where are we uh, we're at this inflection point in terms of how much effort and energy uh, and outreach we're doing to reach uh, people out there so the opportunity for people coming in the door is really uh, significant it's a, it's a fantastic opportunity actually in terms of um, teachers in terms of uh, fellows developers and residents uh, teachers and residents architects and researchers and residents and so on. Uh, those are full and part-time opportunities uh, that are compensated in near tokens, which are liquid on the market now. And um, uh, the, the, you know, the, the only question is, what's your experience? Where are you in the world? And we compensate you fairly. So it's, it's a pretty simple negotiation. Mm -hmm. there. Incredible. And uh, so I'm guessing that's open right now for developers to go to the platform and obviously if they can do it in two days and already start getting paid, it's going to be pretty easy. Um, so what's the best way for developers yeah, to it's, it's get into that? It's surprisingly easy, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, Near.university is, is where you can go to register for a Near Certified Developer and other courses. Uh, you'll also find there links for fellowship programs, ambassador program for university students, um, teachers programs, you know, grants, fellowships, near certified instructors, and we're even hiring folks for the core team as well. Uh, so we're, we're looking for some, uh, some teachers with 10, 20 years experience uh, mm. in the industry uh, that can come and, and help us kind of raise the bar on what it means to change the future of education in this space as well. Mm -hmm. Definitely, that's great. So yeah, it's not just, it's not just for developers, you know, if, if you you know about code, but you don't know exactly how to code, then there are still opportunities to contribute with Nier. I think some of the most interesting opportunities, uh, Ashton, because in the end, coding, uh, it's becoming commoditized, but uh, thinking is where the value is. Uh, so I'll mm -hmm. say again, um, of these thousand teachers, uh, you know, where are the philosophers and the historians and the artists and musicians and animators and illustrators that are going to help us imagine a future that we can't yet see? I like that. Thinking, thinking is where the value is. Love it, Sharif. Thank you so much for coming on. Uh, I'm really excited to see Near Protocol grow, and I'm sure your team will be back in the near future. I would love to get an update then. I will leave the Near.University uh, links and the community links as well for Near in the description box below for the viewers. Thank you so much for taking the time to come on, and all the best with Near. Thanks so much. Pleasure was all mine. See you.